Trash Talks! All right, so I am at Ulta and I'm trying to look for the Pattern Beauty products by Tracy Ellis Ross. I don't know where they at. I always look before I ask. I'm tired of looking already. So, oh, oh, I found them. Not many of them, but I found them. So, eight of the products here, but if this is $25, I don't know if I'm gonna get that today because that's a lot of money for just one product. And I was trying to get a few. I'm definitely not buying that towel or that clip. $42, no. Shampoo, okay, $10. The last one. And then a hair serum. Okay, well, okay. So this is the second Ulta I'm going to to see if they have Pattern Beauty and hopefully they have it. I'll let you guys know in a second, but I'm not seeing it. Well, it looks like Pattern Beauty is gonna be a bust because I can't get anything in store. So I may have to order it, but the only reason I wanted to get it in store is because they had like a free gift set. So I guess I'll check on Ulta.com to see if they have it and I'll just get it mailed to the house. But I want it with the kit. So it's kind of disheartening, but yeah, I'm not searching for it anymore and I'm not gonna pay $42 for one product and I don't want to pay $28 for another product that I know for sure I'm not going to use that well so whatever thanks Tracy Ellis Ross for making this mission fun so I'm back looking for this product and I think they may have it today I just think it's so funny that when you walk into stores especially stores that pretty much sells women stuff they don't greet the men I walked in here, they didn't say nothing to me, but I waited and looked and they said something to this lady. So I'm just like, but I did find the product that I was looking for and they have the last one as the Pattern Beauty kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and get the hell up out of here before I try to spend any more money. Okay guys, as you can see, I jumped straight into the shower. This is the three in one kit. It has the shampoo, conditioner, and the leave-in conditioner. This is the shampoo, which is a creamy, luxurious, and boosted blend of glorious oils. It says it's a hydration shampoo to help curls and coils. It also says that it has notes of exotic floral jasmine, bergamot, and sweet sandalwood. Me personally, um, I'll be honest, I, I'll be honest, I didn't care too much for the shampoo. It was a good shampoo, but I knew as I was using it that my hair was going to be super, super stripped. I don't know why. I don't know. You guys tell me if this is true with you guys as well. Because when I use shampoos and it foams up a lot, I know for sure it's stripping my hair. But whatever. It does have some um, silicones in it, so some surfactants that help um with moisture well not really with moisture but with slip and actually getting these suds going but it also has nice moisture rich ingredients such as aloe vera leaf juice um coconut oil and honey so yeah i i think it was a, a cool experience to try the shampoo but i could honestly pass on it okay so i definitely was trying to make this only voiceover i want to quickly explain something with the shampoo i don't feel like it's something that I don't feel like it's anything too special. I do love the scent. Again, I like scents on my hair, not really on my face. And it's very like masculine. It's soaked up so well. But it just, I don't know. I know for sure my hair's gonna be stripped. And I know this has silicones in it. I know, I'm not like one of those, oh, crazy hair, natural, gotta have this, this, this. Cause it doesn't claim to be natural products. It's just, clean products or gentle products um it definitely says gentle cleanse and hydrate nowhere in this brand i think it says for natural hair because it definitely says i mean they have silicones in it they have a certain type of silicone and it's formaldehyde free color safe free of sls and sles paraben free but i i i don't know i'm just gonna continue on and yeah but Smells good. Um, I know for sure my hair is going to be a little cleansed, but I know it's going to also be dry. So hopefully the conditioner picks up for this. That's all. Yep. Well, just as I thought, trash. Trash. My hair, it's just stripped. I know it. It just, I don't know. My, my curls don't look bad. The looks don't look bad, but the feel is like... Uh, 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 no, no. The feel is like you need to hurt and put some conditioner on before you have fall out. All right. 
Next product says heavy conditioner for coils. And I'll be honest, I was not about to pay $45 for the big stuff. I paid $30 for this and I don't know, I think her stuff is extremely expensive. I'm blessed that I was able to even grip my hands on the minis. You guys seen what I went through, the whole waiting and driving to multiple stores and I didn't want to order it because I wanted to pick it up in store. I just felt the stuff, it's $25 for a shampoo, $25 for a conditioner or 20, 20 to 25 for each. That's a lot of money. I get two of each with that, or depending, depending. But you guys know on my channel, Shea Moisture Shampoo is my favorite shampoo. The most I pay for that shampoo is like $10. And it still is there and it lasts me a, a long periodically time. In a break so I'm just going to hit with the conditioner. I don't separate, you guys know that. I'll separate just for the video purpose and show you guys what's going on. Just give you a little snippet of on what the do. But this is good. Oh my God, it is like, oh, it just, this, it ain't, it's like, I don't know. It's thick as hell. It's like paint, not paint, but I don't know. Never mind. Smells like um, most conditioners. Not minding it, not minding it. Okay. I don't know, how y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? How I'm feeling. Let's go ahead and give a little, that's the shampoo. Give a little mo, give a little mo. I mean, this is like thick, it's, look at this. It's not even falling. What the hell? Well, I definitely can run my fingers through it. And I feel as if it's like any other conditioner. It's just really thick. Like, look at this. It come out like a snake. Conditioner. So one side of my hair has the conditioner on it and the other side doesn't. At this point, I really don't know what's going to happen. But I'm going to just go ahead and condition the other side, wash it out, and then try the last product, which is the leave-in conditioner. I'm confused as to why there's no curling custard, jelly, gel. What's going on? Maybe y'all just testing it out to see what's going on. I tried my best not to look at other people's reviews and I haven't, I have seen some pictures and I've only seen like, there's an oil, which I already have oil, a brush or a comb, not buying no brush or no comb. And there's like a microfiber towel. Sorry, if y'all send me a towel, I will definitely use it, but I was not gonna pay like $20, $30 for a towel. I don't even know how much it costs, but as far as the products, I probably really would have just purchased the shampoo. Well, now that I know how the shampoo works, I'll purchase, yeah, I mean, I always like to get shampoos and conditioners to try it out, but I would definitely purchase the conditioner again. Although it was super thick, I feel my hair feeling really soft as of now, and I do kind of like the smell it smells really good and I can tell I usually know instantly when conditioners may do something so we'll see and then we're gonna try the leave-in conditioner so I'm gonna do put on the rest of the conditioner really fast and then I'll use the leave-in conditioner so as you guys can see here I am back with fresh nice and clean hair I already used the shampoo and the conditioner I don't really know how to fail but I'm going to go ahead and start to use the leave-in conditioner which is for curly hairs coilies and tight textures so i do feel like it was lightweight it smelled good um it actually added some hydration and moisture back into my hair so i think it was again the highlight of the brand you can even tell they put more emphasis on it they changed the bottle of it yellow they wanted to make it vibrant and bright i really hope they get like a curling gel or custard or twist cream or something i, I need more if i'm gonna try or either fall in love or like this brand because right now it's at a three out of five for the whole brand if not a two but i'm just being honest i just you know it's the first time around so overall with the pricing and stuff i'm just not too happy about the pricing and why it's so expensive and only at ulta and not in stores all the time but whatever I liked it. I even used it off camera with some um, two strand twists and it came out really good. So I'm in, I won't say in love with the leave-in conditioner, but I'm definitely in liking of it. So guys, I decided to use the leave-in conditioner to 
do what it says, which is define and moisturize as a when a wash and go. Hopefully the curls do something magical, but they, they look nice now. I don't think they look bad, you know. I naturally have a good curl pattern, so we'll see what happens with Pattern Beauty. But that is me using all three. Shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and try it for yourself, always. I love reviews because whether they're good or bad or indifferent, I'm like, I wanna try it. So that's what I did and this was it and I hope you guys enjoy and I'm out of here.